Hello everyone, this screencast is designed to walk you through the steps of completing the level one and two formative for analyzing historical eras. So from the history of baseball classroom page, please go to classwork. And here is the assignment here, analyze historical eras level one and two formative. You have two documents attached to this assignment. The first one is a view only document. We've gone over this before. This has the list of historical eras in United States history. There are 13 of them. And if you scroll down, you'll see the 10 major themes in US history that are listed here. This will be important to reference while you are working on the assignment. So if you go back to your copy of the assignment, Analyze and Critique Historical Eras Level 1 and 2 Formative, you have the description for the Level 1 criteria. Describe what a historical era, theme, turning point, event, and consequence are in relation to history. List examples of eras, themes, turning points, and define era-specific vocabulary. So using era-specific vocabulary, please choose one term and connect it to these various uh, concepts. So now you have to go back to your unit terms and vocabulary from classroom that you have completed. Here's the unit specific vocabulary here. You have come up with definitions for these 10 terms that have to do with the labor history of baseball. You're gonna choose one, just one, and go back to your assignment. Decide what historical era this event or person fell under, going back to this list here. Decide what theme connects to the person or event that you chose. Talk about why this person's presence in the historic timeline of labor history in baseball was a turning point, why it affected change, or why this event affected change. Describe the event if you chose an event, uh, but also if you chose a person, describe some of the events that that person would have been um, in touch with or uh, affiliated with or had something to do with. And then think about the consequences. What were the effects, in other words, of what this person did or um, what were the effects of the occurrence of this event? Then you list two examples of the following, a historical era, an enduring theme, a turning point, an event, or a consequence. Be sure to provide examples that relate to the history of baseball. Those are just general events that you are gonna talk about. Lastly, you're gonna define the following terms. What do we mean by the reserve clause? Who was Kurt Flood? And the importance of the Black Sox handle. If you have done this work here, that will be pretty easy for you to um, take this information that you already have here and apply it here. For level two, I can recognize and describe the most important who, what, when, where of a particular era. So you're gonna take a particular era of baseball history. Who was a part of that era? What are the important details from that? Where did important events from that era occur? And when did those important events occur? Describe a major, major turning point from the era of baseball. So again, you're going to go here, I'm sorry, here to a historic era and somewhere during this historic era, something happened with the labor history of baseball. And again, since baseball was really begun in the 1860s, you really want to pick something that happened here in 7 through 13, uh, as far as the labor history of baseball is concerned. And name some causes and effects of one event that occurred within the era. So again, you're going to choose an era from this list here, and then talk about various things that occurred during that era with Again, the focus is not just anything during that era, but baseball labor history. Who was part of it? What are the important details? Where did events occur? When did events occur? Why were there changes that occurred? Turning points, in other words, and name some of the causes and effects of that event. We'll go over this more in class um, as we go on during the week and into next week. But if you have any questions, please email me or see me in class. That's it for now. Good luck.